Hello everybody, I'm here again to read you another story and today's story is Mr. Big and it's by Ed Veer, or Ver, I'm not really sure. His name's Ed and he wrote Mr. Big. Here we go. Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine who goes by the name of Big. Mr. Big. Now Mr. Big had a small problem. Compared to everyone else, he was extremely big. So big, he's tried to rip his way out of our book. He was so big that anywhere he went, all everyone saw was someone big and scary. No one stuck around to find out who he really was, so inside, Mr. Big felt very small. Poor Mr. Big, all alone. And that's how it always was. When Mr. Big went to the cafe, everyone had other things to do. Um, sorry, I just need to go and paint my fence. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> and when Mr. Big got on the bus, everybody else got off. Um, can you just let me off here, please? Uh, my stop's not for another few hundred miles, but I'll just walk the rest of the way. Uh... And when he went to the pool, well, let's just say everyone else needed to be somewhere else. No one ever saw the real Mr. Big. Look at him all alone in that pool. <sighs> But one day, Mr. Big noticed a piano in the shop window. It looked all alone, just like him. So he bought it and took it home. Look at that, he is one strong gorilla. He's carrying that piano on his back. I couldn't do that. As Mr. Big sat alone at the piano, he thought of all the things that made him sad. And then he played. His music drifted out through the open window and into the evening sky. It drifted across the rooftops, over to his neighbours, and they wondered who was playing such beautiful music. <laughs> wow, hey man, that cat can play! The word spread, and night after night, everyone came from all over town, and still, no one knew who was playing. It was a big mystery. Where is that Mr. Big? Oh, there he is, right there. But inside, Mr. Big was still alone. Oh, look at him, he's still so sad and he's got a tear in his eye. And then one morning, Mr. Big received his first ever letter to the pianist, and that's him. It was an invitation and it said, Dear Mystery Pianist, Thank you for your beautiful music. Everyone's been listening to you for weeks and we're all wondering one thing. Who are you? Would love to meet you. Me and a couple of the guys are playing tonight at the Blue Note. Please come and join our band. See you later. A friend. So that night, Mr. Big joined the band and all night long the joint was jumping and, and, and nobody, no, 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 nobody wanted to leave. At last, everyone could see the real Mr. Big. Look at that. Go, baby, go. Groovy, man. Oh, he's so hot, man. Yeah, jazz, baby. Yeah, cool. <laughs> he's cooking, daddy-o. That's all, folks. <laughs> Let's hear it for Mr. Big. And now that the big band has hit the big time and everyone wants to meet them, Mr. Big has a new problem. He doesn't get much time alone. And that's just the way he likes it. Uh, please, can you sign my book, Mr. Big? Groovy, baby, I'm your biggest fan. Uh, like, is it really you? Wow, can I have your autograph, please? One at a time, everyone. I'm just trying to live a noble life. <laughs> and there he is with all of his friends. And everybody loves him. Wow, what a lovely story that was. I mean, it was a bit sad at the beginning, because no one wanted to be Mr. Big's friend. But in the end, people saw Mr. Big for who he really was. A really talented fellow with a big heart. And that's what we should do. Even though we won't be able to see a lot of our friends for a long time during this confusing time, at the end of it all, we'll all need our friends more than ever because we'll want to go out and play with them and do loads of fun things. And we shouldn't judge someone just because of the way that they look. Let's be friends with everybody and let's love and care about everyone because after this, we're really, really going to need our friends.
So I hope you take that message with you, and I hope you enjoy today's story. And I will see you again very, very soon for another one. Goodbye!